Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sam Livecast. We are now officially. Oh, Christ. I got to do some math now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight. 11 days from Thanksgiving. We're the week before Thanksgiving week. And I wanted to do some. Um, uh, get you prepped for. Uh, what are these called? Leftovers. Yes. Thank you. Leftovers. But I'm calling this week. Elevated leftover week because I don't want to just do like a turkey sandwich, which you can do. So we're going to turn this nonsense into things that are a little more sophisticated. It's completely not Sam the Cooking Guy, but it's going to be great and simple and always delicious. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to you. I don't think people can hear you actually. They can. No. You think people can hear you? There's a microphone on this. Oh. All right, we're going to heat the pan. You don't need to see that. And I'm going to cut some onion. And at the risk of bringing back horrifying memories, I'm using the same knife that I used just the other day when I did this. Can you see that? That's four stitches that I did. Saturday. I was prepping for a class. And I had this big knife out, and I had an onion just like this. But the onion was one of those onions that had like a, a slightly, I don't want to say slimy layer underneath. I, I, it doesn't matter. I was rushing and I just went, and it went, Phew. I don't know how it did. Oh, my hand was like this and it went, Phew. it was so deep. Oh, it still hurts. Okay, so anyway, we're heating a pan. We're going to cut. Just a little onion right here. I don't need a lot because I'm not going to make a lot of this first item. Which? Are you kidding I, me? No, I'm not kidding. Uh, I am. No. I'm not kidding, but I did not cut myself. So I don't need a lot of this. I just need some onion. We're going to put right here. Sorry, dropping onion. Pardon me. All right. Just throw all this off to the side for now. You know, I've just been reading the book From Scratch by Alan Salkin, I think. It's about the, uh, the story of how the Food Network came to be. And in it, do you know who Sarah Moulton is from the Food Network? She used to have a show called... Uh, I think Ready, Set, Cook. She did a bunch of stuff on the Food Network in the early days. Anyway, Rachel Ray uh, uses the term garbage bowl. She puts a big deep bowl on the counter and as she has like onion cuttings and bits of carrot and whatever that she doesn't need, rather than going to the garbage each time, she just flings them all into this like big bowl on the counter. It's the Rachel Ray garbage bowl. Well, apparently Sarah Moulton coined that term and it's pissed at Rachel Ray for taking it and oh. making a lot of money with it. All right, so just onion here. I don't want it too brown. I could absolutely turn it down a bit. So this is just meant to be part of what we're doing, okay? At the same time, if you back up, Max. Mm -hmm. And by the way, just cooking onion smells super delicious. This is some bacon that we had left over from a thing we did the other day. Just diced bacon. It's been cooked, but I just want to give a little bit of this bacony flavor to this. So we're going to let this all do its thing here. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. Soften up, right? And now in a bowl, we will put the following ingredients. And I'll use a I'll use a clear bowl so you can see. We're going to put some leftover mashed potato, right? Like about to this much. So the key to this recipe is just equal parts of the following ingredients. Stuffing, oh sorry, mashed potato, then some stuffing, about the same amount. <laughs> Hello. It's clearly leftover if I can't do anything good with that. Let me just see this. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to this just to soften everything up and make this super delicious. Where's bad here? Is there any bad here? Somebody show me the bad real quick. Oh, you can't because there isn't any bad. Because this is just freaking tremendous. Onion and bacon. Tell me there's something wrong and there. Butter. How can you really and just butter. never go wrong? You couldn't go wrong. We've got equal parts of stuffing and mashed potato in here. I'm, I'm not doing a ton because I don't need to make a ton. And now we've got some turkey. And this is uh, turkey thighs that I bought the other day because I needed some turkey thigh meat. I needed some turkey meat. So these I just roasted in the oven, but we're just going to pull off the skin a little bit because we don't really need the skin even though it's delicious. And we just want to take like a chunk of this and just shred this up into here or cut it up, right? So here, watch. This might be the easier way to do this. Just take a little bit of this turkey. Which, by the way, mm. a little butter, a little olive oil, kosher salt, pepper, and sage is really all this was. Damn, it smells unreal. It smells like Thanksgiving. It does. Okay, equal parts. Turkey, stuffing, mashed potato. This is good. Probably not. Oh, I might as well. I've got this. Turkey should be the star, so we'll put a little bit more of the turkey in, right? And then we're going to throw in some of the onion and the bacon. Okay, good so far? Beautiful. I don't quite need all this. All right. All right, so now this just gets mashed. The, the, the stuffing. We're just trying to mix all of this really nicely. To the point where it will become... Oh, there's a fly. Did you just hear him? Yeah. He just is, he's like bombarding me. Oh, it's on again. Oh, there he is, he's going for you. He... You will die, you little piece of ass. Do you see him? Not anymore. We'll kick his ass. I feel like I might need a little. So here's my goal. Oh, I'm going to be okay. Okay, so watch what we're going to make. Okay. So watch what I'm doing with these. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit of oil on my hands because I don't want them to stick. I'm going to take some. I'll make these little cakes. Bacon, onion, turkey, stuffing, mashed potato. How is this bad? Wait, I forgot. It's not. There is no bad. The question is, what are we going to do with them? Oh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these. Remember I said, it's all about elevating, right? Oh, yeah. And I apologize for this scar on my hand. I, mean, I can't show really do again. anything but... What, do you want to be really grossed out? I'll show it to you right here with the turkey oh stuffing God. thing. Oh, God. Right? Avert your eyes if you're nice. squeamish. But just know I'm not in a restaurant. If I was in a restaurant, I'd have a glove on. Of course. But I'm not, so I'm not going to worry about that. We're not animals. We're not animals. Okay. I'm missing a tooth, but we're not animals. 
Max bit into an acai bowl with pretty much frozen granola in uh, Maui. And lot, is it, what's it called? Your canine, your incisor? Ne directly next to my front two teeth. What, what is next to this front two teeth? I don't know. I think maybe canine, yeah. Is it canine? It's that, it's that sharp one, right? Yes. Okay, so look, butter. Oh, no. Oh, that's the worst. Ah, crap. I'm trying not to make a huge mess here. It's not really working. So butter and olive oil that we're going to cook these guys in. The butter gives flavor. The olive oil keeps the um, butter from burning. It's a classic little combination. Works really well. Turkey skin. Mm. Let's just get this a little hot. Uh, I use sage on this. Uh, little turkey thigh. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Okay. And those cooking about 40 minutes, you know, maybe a little bit less. All right. So let's take these little cakes now. Come on, Maxie. We'll put them in here. Okay, all these are going to get, they're going to get enough time on each side that they get super brown and beautifully crispy. That's what we're going for. We don't want to burn them. Everything's cooked, but we want them crispy on the outside and still soft in the middle. Okay, we take a quick break. We come back. These guys are going to be over on their other side, or we'll just be flipping them. And then I'm going to make the little part that might elevate this a bit. It's going to be delicious. See you in a second. All right, so check it out. Here we are. Look at they all look nice like this, but this is just one side. You can see them bubbling away. How pretty is that, right? Gorgeous. Okay, so let's just let them finish cooking on this side. In the meantime, I'm going to make a little uh, dressing. In the meantime, I'm going to make a little dressing and it's going to be this. It's going to be olive oil. I just need a little bit. You know, we, uh, I talk about these little uh, squeeze bottles. They're fantastic for all kinds of things. Not the least of which is a little salad dressing. So, olive oil, a little red wine vinegar. It's a tiny bit. You go about a third-ish, a quarter to a third vinegar to the olive oil. We need some salt and pepper. And because I can't really get it in there very nicely, I just do it in my hand. Here. Wait, nobody move, nobody move. A little garlic. I'll just squeeze right in. Ah. See, that's that's not that much. But it's enough for here, right? Yeah. Garlic. Wait for it. Wait for it. Shit. Where is it? Dijon mustard. Oh, I got a brand new one. I hate to open if I've got one. I'm gonna open it. Last chance to show yourself. Stupid. Not there. Little squeeze of Dijon. Uh, make your own dressings, ladies and gentlemen. It's just so superior. That's it, right? Hold on. Tiny, tiny little drizzle of Worcestershire. 
And then the final thing that will pull all this together, sage. It's a turkey uh, Thanksgiving thing. So I'm going to just bust this uh, leafy sage up in my hand and put about half of it in. Now a lid. <laughs> Yum! I actually want more things, more uh, sage in here. Okay. Super delicious. But what are we making this for? You're about to see. These little cakes are ready. So watch. I take a couple. Paper towels. Put them on here. We'll just give them a second to just to rest. Nice. Right? This can go there. Now we do this. And I'm just simply using uh, arugula for this. And I just happen to have micro arugula. Look how small it is. It's like, uh, it's like cilantro-esque, right? It's perfect for salads. It's perfect for salads. You gotta look for it, you won't find it everywhere, but and now just a few drizzles of this. You don't want to overdress. And now we can go like this. And then we can take one of these guys and set them right here. A little more dressing. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we call this? We call this elevated Thanksgiving leftover turkey mashed potato stuffing cakes. How pretty is that? That's so pretty, I'm taking a damn picture of it. Come on, let's have a little look here. Listen, crispy little top, this little sage, Oh, vinaigrette, and now a little bite. And look at turkey stuffing. Let's give ourselves a little bit of the benefit of this green here. <laughs> the crunch of the bacon. Need a little stuffing. Turkey bites? This shit is stupid. Max, I'm giving you a bite. Please. And please know, when we say we like things, we're not lying about it to just blow our own horn. Where do you try this? Right here, switch camera. Give me the camera. Can you give me the camera? I wanted people to see you enjoying that. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. How good is that? Mm. Crispy? Okay. Therein lies the reason to make sure that you have leftovers for Thanksgiving. As it will be all week. By the way, if you don't have um, turkey at your house, if you're not doing the turkey, take some home from wherever the hell you go. And some stuffing. And some mashed potatoes. I hear gardeners outside starting to power up their gas-powered devices. That means it's time for us to end. This is mon only Monday. We've got two more shows of elevated Thanksgiving leftover week on the live cast. Oh, I meant to tell you. 
Go to um, go to the Facebook uh, cooking guy doc, the cooking guy on Facebook. You can win a set of a uh, a carving set, a big knife uh, and a big uh, carving fork from Mesermeister in time for Thanksgiving. Uh, just for sending in your favorite uh, cooking guy recipe. It's that simple. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, do that because I, I sent a whole bunch of pictures of what I did here the other day. And you can learn about all these things. Instagram, Twitter, it's all the cooking guy and uh, the cooking guy on Facebook. All right, thanks for hanging out. See you Wednesday with more elevated Thanksgiving leftovers for the week. See ya.